And a new bank- we'll just break into that story because uh, the opposition environment spokesman Greg Hunt is speaking. This is no doubt in relation to the advertising money that the government has just announced. It's set aside for the carbon tax. Okay, everybody ready? All right. Uh, today's announcement of a television carbon tax advertising campaign adds insult to injury for Australian taxpayers. This announcement adds insult to injury for Australian taxpayers. Australian mums and dads are being asked to pay for the government to advertise why mums and dads should pay higher electricity prices. The message is this. Prime Minister, stop this carbon tax television campaign before it starts. It's an abuse of public money. It, it is also a case that this campaign will inevitably fail to talk about the higher cost of living, of electricity, of petrol, of gas and groceries. And so, for the Prime Minister, the only honest campaign would be an election campaign. Because right now, we're about to see an advertising campaign about a carbon tax, uh, the details of which have not been released. The only honest campaign would be an election campaign. The Prime Minister should stop this ad campaign and what uh, she is doing is adding insult to injury for Australian taxpayers. Mr Hunt, what do you say to um, Mr Combe's comparison to the $120 million spent on advertising work choices? This is our watch and our time and our responsibility. We went to the election with a $50 million cut uh, in advertising. Uh, we were clear on that. That's our policy. That's our response. And uh, in 2007, uh, Julia Gillard made it absolutely clear that she would oppose any political advertising. This is naked political advertising. Uh, it is because the government is desperate. Uh, the fact that it was uh, uh, thrown uh, up without any consultation with the independents just shows that the government has learnt nothing from cash for clunkers, nothing from the Citizens' Assembly, nothing from East Timor and nothing from the Papua New Guinea uh, and Malaysian solutions. Announce first, ask questions later. Is this an admission that the, uh, your scare campaign has got the government scared? Uh, well, it's uh, up to the Prime Minister to explain why she's uh, introducing a $12 million taxpayer-funded television advertising campaign. Uh, she needs to explain why she's doing it before the tax and very significantly we had asked questions in the parliament as to whether or not uh, there would be television advertising and the government said there had been no decision made. When did the Prime Minister, any of her ministers or their departments first approach the advertising agencies? Would the coalition support or fund from its own coffers uh, an ad campaign against the carbon tax? Uh, well, we are not proposing uh, any advertising campaign. Why did the coalition spend $120 million on a work choices campaign when they were in government? Well, that's a matter for those who were involved in, in it at the time, but it is our time and our watch and our responsibility uh, and we are taking and we took a $50 million reduction in advertising to the election and the Prime Minister of this day also said before the 2007 election that she would personally end political advertising. All right. Mr. Rabbit, uh, explain why he uh, was in a cabinet which approved so much advertising for work choices. Uh, well, he was the leader of the opposition who announced a $50 million cut uh, in advertising budgets. So uh, his credentials are strong and clear on his watch of reducing advertising. As for this government, it's up to them uh, to explain why they want to waste taxpayers' money, uh, they want to engage in a nakedly political advertising campaign, and the only honest campaign would be an election campaign on the carbon tax. So are you saying no government should advertise on uh, its key policies? Uh, the key role for advertising uh, for government is genuine public information about people making uh, uh, facing challenges which they can deal with. Uh, so, for example, uh, water savings, things such as that. But this is a naked, partisan, political campaign. The ALP was not willing to pay for pro-carbon tax ads 
with ALP money before the election, they are willing to pay for pro-carbon tax ads with public money after the election. Just on the carbon farming initiative, uh, Mr Hunt, uh, Tony Windsor's just predicted that the coalition will eventually support it in the Senate. Do you think, uh, do you think that's going to be the case? Uh, look, our approach is uh, to be constructive on this. Um, we have said all along to the government, uh, we favour the principle, we support the idea, the detail isn't on the table. Uh, unfortunately, we've had to live through the, um, the home insulation uh, scheme, the green loan scheme, uh, and the evidence is that unless the detail is on the table, uh, we won't give a blank cheque. Uh, we uh, look at what they've done, and a, a blank cheque usually leads to a bad outcome. It's a good idea, a good principle. It's something we want to be able to support, and in good faith we've said, give us the detail, and if you give us the detail, uh, we'll be in a position to make a judgment. But so we're not against the idea, but uh, we want the regulations, and uh, at this stage they haven't given us the regulations. So when you say we, we're not against... Um, the idea. When you say we, do you mean the coalition or the Liberal Party? Yeah, look, uh, we mean the coalition and individuals may have their, uh, their views but our position is in support of the concept of carbon farming but uh, no blank cheque, no regulations uh, offered. We want to see the regulations and uh, the history of this uh, government indicates that uh, giving a blank cheque uh, doesn't uh, aid good public policy. Do you believe some Liberals could cross the floor and, and vote for the uh, carbon price as uh, Tony Windsor seemed to suggest a little earlier? Uh, I'm not aware of any plans for that. Uh, we haven't seen the legislation yet. Uh, I assume that's uh, not going to happen. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, so that's the Opposition Environment Spokesman Greg Hunt there live from Parliament House in Canberra. Not too impressed with that announcement from the Climate Change Minister Greg Combe in the last hour or so. The $12 million has been set aside for an advertising campaign for the carbon tax. Greg Hunt saying there that the only campaign the government should be uh, putting on the agenda is an election campaign. Let's take a look now 